Hello, and welcome to the Powerline Systems video on Batch Modify commands. This video will demonstrate the two Batch Modify commands added to PLS CAD in version 19 for structure-specific materials. These commands include a way to batch edit structure-specific material, as well as a method to batch add or remove structure-specific material. Let's start with the first new command to batch modify site-specific materials. In the software, navigate to Structures, Material, Batch Edit Site-Specific Material to review the site-specific materials in this model. This table is helpful for looking at the site-specific material of your entire line and making changes on individual structures. We can see that the only site-specific materials are right-of-way agent labor parts on structures 1, 8, and 9. We can use this table to copy and paste new site-specific materials from a spreadsheet or to manually enter site-specific materials. For example, we can add another right-of-way agent labor part to structure number 10. First, we'll select the structure number. Then, we'll type in the stock number. When we tab out of the stock number input, the description will automatically update to confirm that the stock number we've used is in our parts list. Next is the quantity, followed by the item status. To make batch updates more quickly, we can use the other new command. In the software, navigate to Structures, Material, Batch Add Remove Structure Specific Material. This menu command will open another table, and in this table, you can also copy and paste from a spreadsheet or manually enter in your material. Rather than add in the material one at a time like in the other table, we can use this command to quickly add or remove parts to several structures at once. For example, say I need to add three number plates to each of my structures. In this table, I can type in the stock number N plate. The description will update to reflect that I've added the correct part when I tab out of the input box. The next column is for the quantity. I'll add 3 to this column. Next, I can choose the status of the item I'm adding, new, existing, retired, or transferred. Up at the top of the screen, we have the option to either add or remove the part. This time, we'll add. In the Structures tab, we can deselect those structures we don't want the part automatically added to. We can deselect the substation and tap structures in this example. Click OK to batch update the structure-specific materials. Now, when we use the Structures, Material, Batch, Edit, Site-Specific Material command to review the site-specific materials in this model, we can see both the right-of-way agent labor parts that were there previously, as well as the three number plates now added to all of our other structures. To demonstrate how the remove command works, we'll remove two number plates from both of the distribution structures. Again, navigate to Structures, Material, Batch, Add, Remove Structure-Specific Material. Type in the end plate stock number, add a quantity of 2, and keep the item status new like before. This time, we'll select the Remove option at the top, and in the Structures tab, perform this command only on the distribution structures. When we click OK, two number plates will be removed from the site-specific material for both of the structures we had selected. Looking at the table in Structures, Material, Batch Edit Site Specific Material once more, we can see the distribution structures now only have one end plate, while the other structures still have three. We hope you find this video helpful when you need to make batch updates to structure specific materials. For more information about our software, including additional videos and tech notes, please check out our website at www.powerlinesystems.com. For inquiries regarding our software, price quotations, technical support, 
and other information, please contact the email addresses shown on the screen. Thank you for watching this video and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.